The U.S. Navy recently released images of it testing its new Helios laser. And as cool as this imagery truly is, I'm here to rain a bit on everyone's laser parade. Because like many of the lasers in testing today, Helios should be seen more as a stepping stone toward truly effective laser air defense than the sci-fi weaponry these lasers are often made out to be. This recent test saw the Helios laser, which is short for High Energy Laser with Integrated Optical Dazzler and Surveillance, tested aboard the USS Preble, an Arleigh Burke-class destroyer. During the test, the Helios laser was able to bring down an airborne drone flying at an undisclosed range and altitude. And this is something we've seen done with other Navy lasers in the past. And all of these efforts are incremental steps toward a much more powerful system the Navy is getting ready to field. And even that is just another big step toward an even higher powered laser to come. Now, lasers have a number of big advantages over traditional kinetic interceptors, the biggest of which are depth of magazine, or having nearly unlimited ammo as long as you're still producing power, and the cost exchange ratio, or the cost per shot versus the cost of the target that you bring down. But they also face some huge challenges, like atmospheric dissipation and thermal blooming, both of which stifle the range and efficacy of lasers used inside the atmosphere. But the biggest challenges these lasers face is power output. Navy assessments suggest you need a laser with a 100 kilowatt output or more to take down small drones, artillery, or rockets. You need 300 kilowatts or more to take down larger drones or to burn through the side of a cruise missile, and you need 1,000 kilowatts or one megawatt to have a chance at taking down a ballistic or hypersonic missile. Now, Helios is designed with a scalable output ranging from 60 kilowatts up to 120, making it a bit more powerful than the UK's Dragonfire and about on par with Israel's Iron Beam. It's enough juice to bring down a slow-moving drone or to make pretty easy work out of mortars or rockets. And in the near future, the Navy will begin fielding its Hellcap laser, or High Energy Laser Counter Anti-Ship Cruise Missile System, with a power output of 300 kilowatts. And Lockheed Martin is already building a 500 kilowatt class laser using the same basic premise. And that'll be enough to do some real damage. So to be clear, the Helios laser is very cool technology, but we're still a long way off from fielding the naval equivalent of the Death Star.